the Philippine Army, serving the people, securing the land. A call to duty over the years that many brave men and women have answered, honorably serving our country through voluntary service on or off the front lines of battle. If this same duty is calling out to you today, then apply now through one of the four ways we are presenting to you today here on Expertis TV. Starting us off is one of the most popular ways to enter the military, which is through four years in the Philippine Military Academy. Though this is also one of the most hardest ways to join the military, as in 2019 alone, 33,333 applicants took the Philippine Military Academy entrance exam, with only 1,629 passing and only 350 chosen for the class of 2024 giving it an exam passing rate of only 4.8% and an overall admissions rate of 1%. But if you are willing to beat those odds and take the chance to be a cadet and graduate as a commissioned officer, on screen right now are the different types of qualifications that you might need upon applying. Should you be qualified and still unsure as to whether or not to apply, it goes without saying that the hardship you will go through is compensated by multiple benefits and a fully paid education with guaranteed employment. Another way to enter if PMA is not your thing, the Philippine Army also accepts college graduates who have undergone the ROTC or the Reserved Officer Training Course and have been commissioned into the Reserve Forces as a second lieutenant for the Officer's Preparatory Course at the Officer's Candidate School. From this training school, the Army produces about the majority of the members of the Officer Corps at 75%. On screen right now are the different factors that you should consider before signing up. And should you qualify, you will be sent to train for 6 months to ready you for the active duty in the regular force. One of the other ways that the Officer's Candidate School offers people to join the Army is through the Officer's Candidate Course open to any college graduate who qualifies with the factors shown on screen right now. Should you pass and qualify, you would have to go undergo one year of training to prepare you to be a part of the Philippine Army. Shown on screen as well is how much would be your salary as an officer candidate during your time in the officer's preparatory course and officer's candidate course, and how much your salary would be once you're already commissioned in active service as a second lieutenant. And now, moving to the most common way for you to join the Army, which is through enlistment as a non-commissioned officer. People who choose to serve this way make up the majority of the entire Army, with a wide diversity of professional and technical backgrounds from chefs, carpenters, journalists, and many more, creating the backbone of the Army. On screen right now are the different factors you may need to consider to qualify to join the Candidate Soldier Course. Should you be eligible, you will be sent to train for a few months while enjoying the salary posted on screen right now as you are training as a candidate soldier, alongside how much money you will be making once you graduate the course and become a private. And that ends our list, making up the four ways you could join the Philippine Army. Though it goes without saying that no matter which course you choose, none of them will ever be easy and each path you take will have their own unique experiences and difficulties. Though if you are sure that this is the path you want to take, then apply now. For more information, visit the link in the description below to find out what documents you may need to prepare and where do you need to submit them. And for more videos like this, show your appreciation by liking this video and sharing it with your friends. And to show your support, subscribe to this channel to help us grow more and reach more people. Thank you for watching, and this has been Expertise TV, the reference point of the nation.